Hey guys, so we had a question come up as to how to round text on a flat object. So what we need to do in the beginning, obviously, is to create a flat object. So we can just do a square there, start from the center. Let's make a rectangle. So let's say we have this and we have a four inch thing there. And we can select this face and uh, well, they keep moving stuff. So more add text let's do j lake 3d all right and then uh we i like to center it first of all uh ariel i like the bold version and we want this obviously smaller so let's go ahead and select that and make it let's say two inches let's see how that looks that's a bit too small so let's make it four inches just like the thickness of our product. Okay, now we click continue and we have our text, right? And since we want to make it that specific thing, we're gonna, we're gonna just do it. Instead of uh, messing around with it like we usually do because we wanna wrap it, we're just gonna extrude it directly from the body as one piece, okay? And let's see. Let's do one just to have it there. And then we want to make it round, right? Because it's just a square. Uh, so what we have to do is select the side plane. And now we have to draw a circle. And this kind of depends on how big you want to see. If you make it like this, it's going to be a big bulge there. We want to make it literally a huge circle. So for example, like this. And that's the midpoint. And instead of remaking that, I could just offset this by however much I want. Let's say 0.75 inches. And since we have it go across there, one second, let me turn off that alarm. Since we have it go across there, we actually don't have to do too much work. We can just draw a simple half circle and then uh, go ahead and extrude this like that. And you would have your round text, you see? Very easy. Uh, however, if you want to be more difficult, like I often do, <laughs> what you want to do here is, let's say you have this circle, right? And let's go ahead and actually delete this real quick just for a visual. So we have these circles here. We're going to go ahead and extrude them. If I can select them here. Because I want to show you a different method. So... Uh, once we have those, we pull it out just a little bit, make it a new body. And then what we can do is select all of these faces. And then use the replace face tool and select this face. The selected face can't be replaced. Well, that sucks. And that's usually because it... Uh, has to be purple before you can do that. So as you can see, it kind of worked. <laughs> uh, I, I want to sound more confident in that, but uh, it does work. It's just that sometimes you have to mess around with it. But as you can see, we have now matched the face and this is like a, a different style of doing it. So there we go. All that's left is to change the color basically. So you can have a beautiful piece. All right. And there we go. We have our piece. And then like I, once you're finished with that kind of stuff, you can do some finishing touches. For example, like rounding off the corners to make this like a nice plaque or something. All right, there we go. We have a nice little object with a rounded text. Hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Here at JLake 3 d our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more.